Hello, and welcome to Art Minutes. I'm Patricia Tomlinson, curator at the Appleton Museum of Art. Today, I would like to look at a really extraordinary painting with you by Pierre-Auguste Cotte. It is entitled Les Printemps, which is a French word and means springtime. When we look at the painting as a whole, we see a very charming young couple, their eyes are only for each other, sitting on a rope swing in a very lush, beautiful forested landscape. Behind them and slightly below is some type of sinkhole or swimming hole with water in it. And behind them, further back in the picture plane, you can see birch trees, you can see oak, and just a teeny bit of sky off on the upper left-hand corner. At their feet are various flowers, and I wanted to look at that a little more closely with you, too. Right at the bottom left by their feet is an iris plant, but on that iris is a small dragonfly. And above them, just above their heads, are two butterflies. Of course, all of this is pointing to verdantness, spring, renewal, and rebirth. When we look closely at the young couple's faces, as I mentioned earlier, they only have eyes for each other, and she is entwined around him with both of her arms around his neck. He looks down adoringly at her, and she has a rather coy expression. It's a very sensuous painting, and I want to talk to you about that too. As we can see, the female figure has very sheer clothing, and you can see her entire body beneath it. This would have been extremely scandalous in the 1800s, and it would have been extremely improper for a young woman to be visualized in this way. And this makes me fairly certain that this young woman is actually a metaphor for springtime itself. She embodies all the beauty, all the liveliness, all the loveliness of the first burgeoning of spring. And also, I think this points towards Locksley Hall by Alfred Lord Tennyson. It was written in 1842, and Colt would have been familiar with the great poet and this poem. And one of the lines in this poem seems particularly telling in conjunction with this painting, what it says is, in the spring, a young man's fancy lightly turns to thoughts of love. So it is possible that he was thinking of this line from the poem, how spring itself is full of life and promise and rebirth and renewal. Additionally, I wanted to talk a little bit about Cot and his painting style. It was very common for full-time professional artists at this time, which Cot was, to produce multiple versions of their popular paintings. Now, they might be slightly modified. For example, a garment might be a slightly different color. The, some of the trees in the painting might have been slightly different. But it was very common for them to produce multiple versions of a painting, and springtime is no different. There is a larger version of springtime, a sister, if you will, in the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York. These type of highly romantic paintings set in a idealized Arcadian setting of some sort were extremely popular both abroad and the United States and were collected avidly. Thank you for watching. I look forward to sharing more Art Minutes with you soon. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.